Hello, class. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Mariela. How are you? Yes, teacher. Good evening. <clears throat> Hello, Roxana. Hello. How are you today? I'm okay, and yeah, everything good. And you? Pretty good, thanks. All right. Let me see one thing here. My internet, oh, I don't know. Is your internet good today? I feel mine is very slow. Yes, it is maybe for the rain. Yes. Yes, maybe it's yes. because of the rain. Yes, sir. By the way, what's your name? Oh, my name is David. <laughs> okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, <laughs> yes. I, I wanted to ask you the same thing yesterday because you mentioned <laughs> that you worked for Dell. Yes. In 2005, and mm -hmm. my husband worked for Dell about that time. What is your husband's name? David Escobar. It sounds familiar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what's your last name? Baltrons. Baltrons. Uh, Mario Flores. Security, the Dell, long time ago. Is he like a tall security? No, no, no. He's, a, he's not a tall, the, he's a short. But oh. he, he he was a, a like a manager or boss of the security. Oh really? Mario Flores. When the when when uh there is the first time because uh let it change the name of the twist or I don't remember the name. No, I don't you know maybe if I see his face, yes, I do remember him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what did your husband do there, Marielos? He was, uh, how do you call <laughs> Este manager, I think he was. What's the, because he, uh, he has, he had a group of people. How do you call that? Yeah, he was, he had a team. Uh-huh, he had a team. He, uh, his assistant was this guy from... Belize, his name was uh, Marco, Marco Richards. You Did said you, know? you said his name is David, David what? Escobar. Team Escobar, Team Escobar, maybe sounds familiar. Mm -hmm. How long did he work there? Mm, maybe two or three years. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Is he still in the in the call center business? Not anymore. He's working in the Juzgados. <laughs> oh, okay. Did he like mm -hmm. Dell? Yes, he did. Yes. He, that was the best time for him when he worked on that. Everybody yes. who worked in Dell will say the same. Yes, they except for one boss. This girl uh, was a woman who didn't like him. They uh, they were always fighting. That's the only thing <laughs> he didn't like. Oh, okay. But the rest was good. Yeah. Yes. Dell Dell was a very very good company because mm -hmm. it was American. Yes. It became bad when El Salvador took management. Mm hmm. That's right. I remember that he used to, they had those uh, like uh, pajamas day or beach day or something and they have to wear costumes and things like that. Ugly shirt day. <laughs> <laughs> I... 
You know, and Dale, <clears throat> one time I counted and maybe I counted 68 shirts I had from them. <laughs> I remember <laughs> watching them. <laughs> because every week they gave us shirts, they gave us books, pins, caps, everything. Or like suddenly you're you're eating and they send you coffee, they send you Burger King, they send you donuts, anything, whatever it was. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah call centers today they try to do that but it's not the same mm. yeah mm -hmm. do you know that originally when Dell came in 2004 I think yes. they they wanted to pay $1,000 base the, the, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. minimum the minimum was $1,000 so uh, imagine the managers and and um, stupid Tony Saka says no. Mm -hmm. Tony Saka did not permit that. Mm, really? Yes, he didn't. Oh. Or, because it's not competitive, mm. idiot. Uh. <laughs> stupid idiot. <laughs> but still, they had the best salaries. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah all right so how was your day today people everything good everything good yes sir. anything new no nothing new today yeah today was like an, a normal no. today was a very passive mm -hmm. It is a, a normal for me. It's normal, normal day. Relax. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> do you remember yesterday where we were talking about active and passive voice? Correct. Voice. Yes. Yeah. So, is active and passive voice this, the same story? Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Yes, it's the same yes. story. Same story. Who can give me the grammatical explanation, not the logical, the grammatical? Grammatical. The active subject, the first is the subject, and the passive is the object first. And the subject last. Yes. But remember one thing that is very important. Nothing changes. The tense is the same. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What changes is the verb to, mm -hmm. to a um, past participle. Okay. Y como les digo, igual en español, el gato se va a comer al ratón, el ratón va a ser comido mm -hmm. por el gato. Mm -hmm. Mi jefe me invitó a una cena de gala. Yo fui invitado. I don't know why. This is one of the, the things that English and Spanish is the same, same rule. Okay. The same rule. So remember, the cat is going to eat the mouse is active, but you can't say passive. Oh, the mouse was eaten by the cat. No, but li listen to what I said. The cat is going to eat the mouse. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. mouse was eaten by the cat. Mm -hmm. That's well, not the... Yeah, it's not the passive voice because the active voice was in future. Mm -hmm. The mouse is, I'm sorry, the cat is going to eat the mouse. Mm -hmm. So the passive voice has to be in future too. Mm -hmm. The mouse mm -hmm. is going to be eaten by the cat. Now, mm -hmm. simple pass, boom. The cat ate the mouse. Mm -hmm. The mouse was, was eaten. eaten. But the mouse going to be eaten. Yes, if if the active is, that's what I'm saying. It can be any tense. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is that if the active and passive, it has to be the same tense in active and passive. You can't change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Yes. So what is the logical explanation, Oscar? The logical? Okay. Because uh, Alexander said yeah. that the difference between active and passive speech is that active, I'm sorry, not speech, voice. 
Mm -hmm. Active voice, the subject is first and the, and the object is last. And in the passive voice, the subject is first. I'm sorry, the object is first and the subject is last. So it's the same thing. So why? So what is the difference? The difference is that you can you have to change uh, the, the the person that you are talking about. Yes, that's, so, that's the, the subject or the, the order. The, the order. Yes, that's I what I, that's what Alexander said. He said that yes. in an active voice, the subject is first mm -hmm. and the pass and the object is last. Yes. And in a passive voice, the object is first and the subject is last. Mm -hmm. That we understand, but so, okay. but he said that it's the same story. Mm -hmm. So if it's the same thing, so why do we? So what is the difference? The difference, well, I think that one uh, or the first, uh, when we're talking active voice, is more informal than passive voice. Okay, Oscar. Uh, let me see, Miguel Franco, is Oscar correct? Yeah. You didn't listen, huh? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I listened, but I, I, I listened, but, but, but uh, Oscar, I don't remember. I'm sorry, uh, Miguel, were you in class yesterday? No, I wasn't. Okay, yes, I, I remember. Yeah, I understand. Yes, yeah, so maybe you wouldn't know the difference. Roxana was in class yesterday. So, yeah. Oscar, so Oscar said that the difference is the formal and informal way of speaking. Do you think that is correct? Um, I think is uh, the majority of people speaking is active voice, but it's the same. It's another way to say something. Okay. Yes, it is. Alexander said it. He said the act. What changes is the active and passive. But my question is because. So why are there two ways of saying it if it's the same thing? Who remembers? Yeah. Marielos, do you remember? Because you want to give Im more importance to one or the other. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Is who you want to make important, the subject or the object? Mm -hmm. So if you want to make the subject important, what voice do we use? Mm -hmm. Active. The subject. active voice, yes. When we want to make the subject important, we start with the subject. Like, oh mm -hmm. my God, look, the cat is going to eat the mouse. Mm -hmm. When we want to make the passive important, how do we start? Mm -hmm. The object. With the mm -hmm. object, oh my God, look, the poor mouse is going to be eaten by the cat. That is the difference. That is the logical explanation. So there's two explanations, the grammatical and the logical, right? Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's who you want to make important. Now, remember I told you yesterday, maybe 80 or 90% of the time, we people, human, we speak active. Okay, yes. Because that's the way we have been taught. Yes, it's natural. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, sometimes uh, who works in customer care? Atención mm. al cliente, who works in, no? Mm. No, ventas, no? It, it, yes, in my case, yes, it's a sales and atención al cliente. I, I do the, the two activities. Oh, okay, cool. <clears throat> um, what happens is, mm -hmm. oh, I put in my chat my name. <laughs> Let me see if I can change it here. <laughs> because sometimes I don't have access to change it. Oh, yeah, there you go. And my other my other name is a Slim. Wow. Like a Carlos. My uncle. Mexican. Yeah, he's my uncle. Okay. Yeah, but, but you know, I, I don't like to say that, but you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, so that's the difference. But look, this is something very important. If you if you ever work in English or in Spanish in sales or customer care, mm -hmm. try to speak passive, a passive voice. 
Mm-hmm. Why? Mm-hmm. Who are you making important in a passive voice? The object, right? Mm-hmm. So remember, who is important here is the client. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, for example, Alexander, when you offer your product to people, mm-hmm. we will give you the, we will, I, I don't know, I'm just inventing here. Mm-hmm. We will send you the chefs. We will, we will send you the tables. We will give you the menu. We will, but too much we, we, we we're speaking active. Mm-hmm. We're making ourselves important. Mm-hmm. So psychologically, yes. if you change that, you say, okay, this is what you will receive from us. Mm-hmm. You will receive five chefs. You will also receive, you see, now I'm making the, him important. It's like a psychological game. Mm-hmm. You know, so mm-hmm. in sales, in Benta, if usted firma conmigo, I will give you this. I will give you this. I will give you this. No. If you sign, you will receive benefits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So sometimes it's important, like in business, when, when you're in business, it's, it's, very, it's very good to speak uh, passive or active, you know. <clears throat> All right. So that's the difference. Does everybody understand the active and passive voice? Luis? Yeah. I'm going to test Luis. <laughs> yes. Okay, no, I, Luis. I, I am not sure. Very, I am not sure one hundred percent about this topic because um, I, I am not. I, I, I am not sure about that. Okay, because that's very. It's very good that you're not sure. It's very. I mean, that's not a problem that you're not sure. The problem is that you don't ask. You have to ask the questions because. Then if not, we'll go to the next topic, to the next topic, to the next topic, and then you don't remember. Like, uh, okay, let, <clears throat> let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Kalena. <laughs> Hello. Do you have your do you have your cell phone close with you? Yes. Okay, please imagine and, and, and try to pretend here. Call your mother. Mm-hmm. Okay, wait, 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 Kalina, wait, wait. Luis, what is Kalena going to do? Kalena said nothing. Really? You you didn't see the the. Ah, I, I don't know. It's a, a no verbal language. You you didn't see the interaction I had with Kalena. No, for me no. With me. No. I asked Kalena. Yeah. Okay, okay. Please pay attention, please. Kalena is going to call. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like for example, class, what is Kalena going to do? To call her mother. mother. You see, everybody spoke active. Kalena is going to call her mother. Yes? Subject? Kalena. Kalena. Object? Mother. Her mother. Action? Call. Going to call. Call, yeah. Mm-hmm. Tense, future, right? Yeah. yeah. Good. Kalena's going to call her mother. The passive, what, what is the passives? The passive is the, mo- the Kalena mother is calling. For it's going by, to be. Going to it's be calling called. to be by, by Kalena's daughter, right? I <laughs> know. No, yeah, I mean, in, in this case, passive is really not very logical, but grammatically, Saria, Kalena's mother is going to be called by her. By Kalena. By oh, Kalena. By Kalena. Yeah. Or by Kalena. Okay, by Kalena. Yes, that's the difference. Can we, can we exchange the verb saying that Kalena's mother is going to receive a call for, from Kalena or oh, no? 
Uh, that's a good question. Yes, yes, you can. But be careful, don't change the story too much because you change the verb from call to receive. But it's mm -hmm. the same, it's the same story. Mm -hmm. Now, different is, is Kalena's mother is going to be invited to lunch by Kalena. Now, that's mm -hmm. totally different. That has, no, the, the action here was call. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Thank you. All right, good. Let me see. Do you remember the difference between I am going to and I will? Is the difference big or small? Yes, yes. A little bit, Bill. Because you say um, will, you use with the, uh, what is the word? Uh, compromise. Compromise. And going to use with a plan. Yes. So you can say, I'm going to eat pizza tomorrow and I will eat pizza tomorrow. That's no problem. But mm -hmm. if you're going to compromise yourself or to something serious, use I will. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow I will donate blood. Donate blood. Yes, that, that's, a, mm -hmm. that's a serious compromise, correct? Mm hmm What are you going to give your husband or your father for Father's Day? Anybody? I don't have a plan because my father is dying. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but do you have a paternal figure? Oh, uh, I don't understand, but repeat. <laughs> Do you have a paternal figure? You know, know, okay, like maybe your father, okay, your father passed away, but sometimes, you know, you might have a grandfather, you might have a stepfather, an uncle, or maybe your mother is your father. Mm. In my case, when I was <laughs> little, I only lived with my mother. So on Father's Day, I gave my mother a present. Really? <laughs> Yes, I always gave her a hey, happy Father's Day, Mom. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's symbolic. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that, that, that's the difference between going to and will is how important it is, how important the compromise is. If it's not important, then you can use will or going to. If it is important, a serious compromise, use will. Yes, that's why I told you yesterday, when you see people say, will you marry me? Everybody says, mm -hmm. will you? Nobody says, are you going to marry me? Mm -hmm. yeah. Because it's a serious compromise. <clears throat> okay, let me see. Let's, let's go with the... Dun, dun, do, 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 do. Something's different today with my... Oh, man. Class, can you excuse me one moment? Voy a... Voy a salirme, voy a volver a entrar, okay? Okay, thank you. No se, okay. Ya capté, no se está grabando. One moment, please. 